Hey guys, RC here, back with some more Football Manager. We're here at Forest Green, and you can see there's not a lot of good green coloration on here. A lot of reds and uh, some yellow-orange stuff. Uh, after the uh, drubbing to Tottenham, we had a 1-1 draw with West Ham. Powell Ids with the early goal. We held on for the draw. And then another 1-1 draw with Southampton, Aaron Collins, got the equalizer to gain us a point in that one. Newcastle edged us 1-0 with an early goal by St. Maximum. And New, uh, then Man United drilled us 5-1. Gavin Hamilton, of, uh, of course, of Tottenham, right, with the lone goal, 5-1 defeat. Marcus Rashford, three goals, a hat trick in the first 25 minutes. And just really tore us apart. So we're struggling really bad against the top clubs. Uh, just no no doubt about it. Uh, Chelsea's the only one we've had any real success with uh, in that top group. And we've got Man City. Arsenal's coming up. Liverpool's coming up. So this could get ugly for us. Uh, we are sitting 14th on 12 points. Five points clear of the relegation zone. So, you know, we're not in dire straits and remember all we're supposed to do is fight bravely against relegation I, I said it at the beginning of this season in real life for Leeds, 17th position is fine um, so if we finish 17th or better I'm okay with that as long as we stay up because that's how you start to build you have to stay up the first year and then you build on that success a couple of things going on the youth facilities and training facilities have been completed, so we are now excellent and adequate. I really don't want to take out another loan just yet because from a financial standpoint, uh, we have loans out the wazoo. Uh, we have, what, 2.9 million, 3.6, well, 46 million, but that six and a half doesn't count until the chairman leaves. Could be coming up. Uh, I think he is retiring, but uh, I could be wrong about that. But anyway, we do have quite a few loans. Uh, they do go on for quite a few more years, so they're not going to bankrupt us. Uh, we should be able to handle that with what's going on. Taking a look at our financial summary, we brought our uh, overall balance uh, up to $7.5 million. So we've really been making a lot of headway. Uh, 1.1 million in profit already this month with one match. So we are doing really well and making some good profit uh, over the course of months. Uh, remember, we started the season at 47.5 million in debt, and we have just been steady climbing. Uh, to where we are now. I am expecting by New Year's that we will actually have a positive bank balance. So I really want to develop that and before I start looking at taking another loan to build anything. Uh, they still have the stadium. Of course, we will never see that, but you know, we need to make sure we're, you know, we can put it off on the on the never never uh, as Lelugio likes to call it, but you know, I really don't want to do that. I like to try to be fiscally responsible. So yeah, we're sitting on 12 after 11 matches. I mean, that's above the, you know, one point a match. So I guess we can't be too upset, but coming up today, we have Man City and Liverpool and they are first and second in the table. This is going to be an ugly day. This is not going to be a, a good match. I am going to go. We're on the road. I'm going to roll out this new tactic. Well, it's it's a new old tactic. We've been training it, so we're 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 not bad. The tempo's a little little off, but that's okay. Passing style is coming into form, so. Uh, I'm going to keep bringing Mitchell on. He's still training back there, has not acclimated well. But I think the more playing. Also, uh, transfer news. Uh, Leighton Stewart, we have sold him on to Toronto for $1.7 million, and he will join them in February. 
Uh, of course, we've already talked about Elias Gerard, our backup keeper, and we have also signed a replacement for Stewart in Almany Kamara, a striker from Watford, 21 years old. Cost is $180,000, and uh, he is from uh, New Guinea. Very good physically. He's six foot two. He's strong. Very good jumping, heading. Uh, he can actually pass the ball a little bit. Very good dribbling, finishing, first touch. I think he's going to be a good number three striker for us, replacing uh, Stewart when he departs. Uh, I've shuffled Stewart back to the U23s. I'm just done with him. And I've moved Oscar to the U23s permanently. Just uh, I can't move him, and he's not playing. So I just really don't want him in the, in the lineup uh, dealing with any of that. So just a heads up that I have done that. Uh, let's see. I, yeah, we just so we're going with Mitchell, Ross, and Bilotti, and Fosu Mensa at the back line. Nomov in the goal. Uh, Marcos Rogerio, Nazevic, Downs, and La Quintana. So Nazevic is going to move up into that central midfield. Downs is having a little bit of a hard time gelling with the group. Uh, if we look at uh, dynamics, he's one of the social groups that is just not fitting in so not sure good reputation high ability set for regular playing time but he's a highly influential player he's still establishing himself just you know hopefully you know hopefully he just develops but the locker room we're starting to lose it and let's see, concerns, wants a new deal. I told Craig Mitchell that I would give him a new deal at the end of the season. Uh, Rob Clark, we are bringing in a new keeper. Uh, we'll try to move him on at uh, midseason when the other keeper comes in. And Lowry, we've got him listed for loan, but nobody's coming in for him. So that is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, get into this match. I am uh, I am still sore from uh, the drubbings that we took last match. Hopefully we can uh, do something about that. We are back to balanced. Tell you what, I'm going to drop back to cautious. Mitchell's got an early yellow. That's Auto the shut box. down. Initiated. And there's a shot, and it's Ids with his second goal of the season. He's gotten off to a slow start. We had that talk to him last episode. Uh, so he finally gets on the score sheet again. Not exactly sure. Oh, okay. He just got his foot, and they had a couple of players miss that ball. So very good job. And we get another throw in. Oh, we had another shot there. Dembele controls it, and he's up the right flank. Uh, he just blew past one of our guys, and there is a tackle out of bounds. Good tackle. Stop the attack. La Quintana, nice drop ball in. Hamilton's there. Beats his man. And there's a goal. Ids with a brace. Second goal of the game, third on the season, and that has to be... A highlight. We're going to give him some early praise here. Very good move on the attack. Wow. I don't think anybody was expecting that. Four shots, only one on target. And we had a foul here in the box. Fosu Minch uh, with the takedown in the box. So, penalty for Dembele. Oh, and he puts it in easy. And that makes it two to one. Let's tell him to concentrate. Couple of nervous. Oh, that's their side. Oh, we're overwhelmed. Still can't believe that, that pass back goal. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. There's a cross in. Oh, and the rebound, and Dembele is equalized. Oh, that's not good at all. Mitchell gets burned. Demand more. Oh, and they're pressured. 
you know, I mean, if we lose this game, I'm not going to be surprised. But, geez, to be up 2-0, I'm going to say that they have been excellent. We played well. Let's do some early creativity. Looks like they had a set piece there. I don't know what happened. Defense is looking postured up. Rafa gets it through. Sterling beats him to the ball. And another cross. Oh, my God. We're using tighter marking. I'm going to switch that to central defender instead of ball playing. See if that helps us out any. Oh, there's a nice interception. Out to La Quintana. Crossed in. And there's the shot. Is with the goal. A hat trick for Ids, and we're even at three. So a pair of hat tricks in this one, huh? That was a nice cross in. Let's praise him. All right, we would have been been nice to get a little flounder there by the keeper, but not to be, not to be. Oh, come on, offsides, please. Hello. All right, let's pop back in here again. Um, pace. All right, I'm gonna drop him to co uh, cover. Just let him be a little bit. All right, let's bring downs off. Let's bring, oh, who do I want to bring in then? Yeah, he's playing crap. I should have brought him off earlier. Albie Morgan. Let's bring Vieira on for downs. And Craig Mitchell. Rogerio. I'm going to bring Mitchell up to midfield. We'll bring Wharton on the back line. Let's go with that for right now. Let's get creative. Come on. All right, let's pop back in here. Let's uh, have the keeper slow the pace down. And let's, he's playing well. Tell you what, let's drop Ids back and then bring Collins on. All right, Ids picks up a yellow card. You know what? I'm I'm ecstatic with that result. <laughs> I am very I I'd be lying if I didn't say that we were not expecting to possibly pull points from that game after we were up 2-0, but if you would have told me a draw before the match, I would have been happy. Wow, okay. Parker, Scotty Parker. See ya, bud. Who else is going to get fired? Oh, David Hughes is on the chop. Thomas Frank, still chasing the first win in six, but three draws. You know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. That puts us, uh, we're still in 14th. We got to find wins periodically, right? At 40 points, that's kind of the number we're shooting for. All right, we'll see you back for the next match. Well, out of the frying pan, into the fire, we are playing Liverpool. One win, one draw, lifetime against them. And uh, they are heavily favored. Heavily favored. Uh, we're going to go back with this tactic. I do want to... Downs is suspended this match. So Hamilton and Ids are getting a good thing going up top. Nazevich played really well last time. Scott Wharton is really struggling. He's come to me wanting a new pro, uh, uh, new contract. I put him off to the end of the year. He is signed for 
two more seasons after this through 2027. Same with Rawson. And he wants a new contract. And I'm like, guys, you know. <laughs> so I put Wharton off till the end of the season, uh, as I did with Mitchell. And uh, then, of course, Rawson is out there as well. Put McGinnis on the bench, kind of like that. He's got a lot of pace. He's not very good at crossing. So let's put let's put Mitchell on here just to see how that works out. They've got a good partnership from last year. So it could be that gives a little more stability in the teamwork department. Let's get creative. Liverpool with the first couple of shots. All right, we get inspired briefly. Let's ask for some more creativity. We get a shot. They get more shots. Demand more. A couple of yellow cards. We're not get stuck in. That's one thing about this tactic. I don't know. I always get a lot of yellow cards. Struggled for possession. Good number of touches in the penalty area. All right. I want to go. Let's see. We're going to do that. I want to pop in on the tactic. We're, we're not get stuck in, so that's fine. Let's regroup in here. Oh, I forgot to do that. And let's take off work ball into box. See if that helps us out any. Let's give the early creativity shout. Team's playing well. I mean, no highlights, which is technically a good thing. All right, Mitchell. All right, let's bring Rogerio on. How is Wharton playing? He's playing fine, plus he's not on a yellow. So we will have to get rid of him. Uh, La Quinta for McGinnis. We'll go that route. All right, no mob to start a highlight for us. That's a good ball. Dropped right in, right into the middle. Oh, good through ball. Oh, blocked. And there's the shot. Tipped wide. Oh, that was a brilliant opportunity. Brilliant opportunity. There's a header and off the mark. All right, we looked a little dangerous there. They come right back with the goal kick. Oh, first touch by Jones, and he's driving into space. Good save by Nomov. Very good job. Ask for some creativity. Come on, boys. All right, let's bring Rawson on. Camera's spinning around there a little bit. Sorry about that. Got cleared out. Oh, my God. Mo Salah. Oh, they, he just did him. And he missed. <laughs> he missed a two-on-one breakaway. Oh, he just completely skinned our defender out there. Oh, my. All right, let's pop, let's pop into here. I don't know how that ball didn't go. Uh, I have no idea. All right, McGinnis. He doesn't have the pace. Oh, there's a good snag by Becker. We were looking hard. We were looking hard. Firmino. Poked away. Very good job on the defense. Way to turn it up. Finds him in the middle. He's in space, and he shoots. Oh, my goodness. All right, Ids has picked up a tight calf, and we pull another point. 
So we play the number one and number two teams, and we pull two points out of the two games. I'm coloring that as a victory, guys. Excellent effort. I mean, yeah, I need three points. We were so close in that one. So close. One, two, three, four draws in seven. And look at some of the clubs we played. I'm okay with that, especially after a 6-1 and 5-1 defeat. You guys can get off of my back. All right, still sitting 14th in the table, 14 points. Seven up on Brighton, three matches. So we've got a three-match cushion built up. That's good. If my math is correct and we keep going at the pace, we'll play Arsenal, Everton, Bristol, Burnley. So we'll come back for Aston and West Brom. So I think that's where we come back is Aston and West Brom for next episode tomorrow. Guys, let me know what you think of today's results. Am I correct in saying that the two draws today were big, big pluses for our club? I'm going to say they are. You might disagree. Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you guys tomorrow with more Football Manager. Take care. Bye.